Okay guys, so back to work on my truck. So I'm gonna be putting my WeBoost up, which I used to have on my camper. WeBoost is a uh, cell signal booster. Um, so when you're boondocking or overlanding or in some very remote areas and your cell signal is weak, you're able to uh, turn this on in most cases and get better service. So I'm gonna put this up. I haven't had it up because I really haven't had a way to mount it and uh, run the wire into inside my truck. So I'm gonna show you these things real quick and I'm gonna do this kind of homemade. You can buy some, some uh, uh, antenna mounters for certain racks, things like that, but you know, they have to work out exactly and they're anywhere between 120, could be $200. I'm just gonna make my own with this handle. So I'm gonna show you all what I'm doing. All right, bye. Okay, so this handle is not, this part right here on here is not flush. So what I'm gonna do is just bend it out a little bit. This is not some real thick steel. Uh, uh, it'll do the job and hold everything, but I'm just gonna conform it a little bit more so it lays more at that groove on there. So, Okay, so this is what I'm Just taking these two pliers and I'm just trying to just kind of bring a contour to it. So, Get in there a little bit. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, so I have everything rounded off on here a little bit. It's, again, it's not perfect. It's not going to be that pretty, but it's. Um, I, I'll do some things with uh, something. But I'm probably what I think I'm going to do now after doing this and kind of playing with it on here is I want to get something to go underneath here. Some, so maybe some rubber. I may use duct tape, but maybe some tape. You know that rubberized tape or something just to a strip around so I can keep the integrity of the roof rack. And then basically, I think all I'm gonna do is tie this down with zip ties. And I'll be able to go through, and I can put one on each side. I'll be able to go right through the, the hole here. And right back to the other one. Like that, of course. And then zip tie it and i'll be able to cut it off pretty tight and stay flush but um i think that'll be secure and tight enough especially with some rubberized tape where it might stabilize it some more and um and then we'll put the antenna on there and see how that goes all right guys i actually used sponges last time which i'm going to use on this which i'll show you in a minute on the roof rack but i'm just taking this um razor blade tool to cut this and the Sizes, I think, in this in half should work just fine. You gotta be careful with these things. But anyways, so on each handle, so that should work exactly what I'm trying to get is the effect of being able to tape this down first and then put these in there. And then they'll secure better because they're they're the sponge is going up into the back as well as they'll keep the integrity and stay off of clamping down or anything on the roof rack let's see what we can do with that all right bye. okay so i'm going to actually uh zip tie them down first before i tape over them um, so what we're going to do here is just run this through here And then through the other side. Again, this is not permanent, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm actually going to try to hit one of these grooves. So hopefully, ship this will be long enough. Think about these zip ties are very cheap, so I have to use four or five of them. So I get it right, that's what I can do. And I'm gonna come down on it. And I'll be able to do this a little bit tighter when I can grab it with the pliers once I have the other side on here and um, really come down on it before I put the tape on. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have these centered on here pretty much as, as much as I can eyeballing them. But again, they're on there pretty good. So this gives it some cushion and also some grab 
So now I'm just gonna actually um, crank down on these a little bit more so uh, they get really, really tight on here before I tape them, tape around them. Careful. I wanna break them off after getting them on there pretty good. Pretty straight, I think. But that one's down good. And then I'll be able to cut these little ties off so they're not dangling. So I should be able to get them pretty flush. I think that's going to be pretty good. Now I can come down again on them with one on top before I tape them. Just to make sure it's pretty solid. Just a little overkill. Alright, show you in a minute. Bye. Okay, so I put another uh, zip tie on each side closer to the handle and on this side of the other one. So it, it doesn't, it holds better, doesn't slip down um, as much. And so I'm just cutting this last uh, piece off here. And so these will probably, I'm not sure exactly how the tape's gonna go over them. You know, again, beauty's not the key here. Okay, so this is this side on here. So I've got this all done with the uh, high intensity heat electrical tape, but it looks a little messy. So I've got some duct tape. I'll probably put a nice, just a couple of nice strips on top of it. Do the other side, and then we'll get the bracket mounted on here, and then we'll see what we're looking at. That thing is on here. Okay, cosmetically again, <laughs> we're not winning the game, but I can tell you this, this part right here is not coming off. So now we're gonna put the bracket on and see what that, that looks like. And then you'll just keep moving forward. Okay, so now we're gonna bolt the black bracket on. And I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking around this. Okay, so here's the, here's the deal. So here's the bracket being on here. And so the deal is, is for now, is it's gonna be easy for me just to untighten these and I can do two things. I can, once it's untightened, like if I'm leaving and I'm not using it and I wanna put it down, again, I can untighten these before I leave, put it down. I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing on this other one to hold the, uh, um, the antenna so it folds down and then it can ride like this and just tighten these bolts down and then when I get somewhere I can just bring it back up and put it like this so yes I'd love to have something that just I could just flip a, flip a lock or unscrew something fold it down put whatever but again I'm not going to spend the money on that right now because I don't know if this is exactly where I'm going to want it mounted okay so the brackets on here this is what it looks like it's on here so again um I think I'm going to uh, mark it and patent this, this whole design. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> okay, so hang on, let me grab the antenna. Okay, so this is what it actually looks like. It's probably about two feet in length. Um, uh, again, so this piece here is the base for the um, cable. It's gonna come down through uh, on the top of the antenna and because the cable is going to come through here before it hits the screw because the way this is designed this will come out this way versus going all the way down through and come out here like it's mounted a different way so it's got several different ways you can mount it it's going to go and the cable is going to go in here you're going to thread it So that's good for effect now. Give you an idea what's going on. So here you go. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a different angle look here. So it'll get to where it's more straight. Um, but now you can see the effect. The key is, is once, let's see if we can get over here a little bit. So, is what I'll be able to do is, once I get somewhere, 
is I'll be able to collapse this. In other words, I can either do that or just take this bracket off and I can take the whole thing off and put it in the back of my truck. It'll, it'll fit easily, but I think I want it to be able to collapse. Okay, so see what I'm talking about? Once I get it loosened up, I can, and then I can retighten these, but I can have it collapse down, which then I can affix have some rubber foam things where I can maybe put over here and I'll work on that next, probably tomorrow. I think I'll be able to get much of it done tonight, but, um, but I'll be able to just lay it down here and it'll be able to fit right in here where it doesn't bounce around or cause any problems. Um, or again, I can just take it off, but that's the idea for now. So there you go. We got to, we got, we made some progress. Bye. Okay. So I finished this thing up now. So what I did was I took some of this foam and just created a couple of bump stops on each side. So as I bring the antenna down when I'm traveling, it falls right into the bump stops. Then I can just take this small bungee and again, just go catty corner and just strap it down. It's all secure and it can still move around. It's got a little play in it. And I'll show you the wire. I still have to do the inside and I'll show you that, but that's pretty easy um, and how that works. But you can see right there, there's the antenna. You better look at it here. So that will get the job done, guys. All right, pretty excited, bye. Okay, so this is the piece that goes inside the truck. This is, um, again, I'm gonna run this cord down through here uh, from the antenna down into this piece. And then this is what is, will hang in here in the uh, cab. So, and it puts a signal out all around the cab. And even when the doors are open a little bit, I can get, still get a little sig better, better uh, signal. Again, the goal is to get better signal. So I'm just needing to mount this. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually put it right in between where the seat belt is. And I'm coming down on this side because this is where the antenna is. The reason I put the antenna on this side is because I'm gonna put my, uh, my uh, awning on that side. So I don't want any interference with oh, that. Actually, this is with Velcro. That's even better. Metal, this. All right, perfect. So then it just affixes onto there. There we go. That's easy. And then I can take it on and off when I'm not using it because it just Velcro's on and off there. And then again, here's the receiver. So it'll come up here. I'll figure out how to affix it. Pretty easy. It's going to run right through here, over here. And then I'll probably hang it from, say, the hanger in the back you know, or somewhere in this area. And then again, that's what's putting off the signal front that's coming from the antenna into the cab and all that to boost my current cell signal. Where is it? Yeah, right there. So again, I, I'll fix it somewhere inside the cab. So that is the inside. Oh, let me show you one more thing. Okay, one last thing I didn't show you was the wire going into this, which is right here. So again, this cable that comes from uh, the antenna. This is still pretty sturdy. They even tell you that. And and I've heard um, that uh, if you crimp it or mess it up or it doesn't work, you can, they'll send you another one. That's a hassle though, so I want to try to avoid that. But this is where this goes. Of course, I have it taped right now because it's got threads in there and I don't want to mess them up when I'm not using it because it gets drug around a lot because it's a cable. But it just affixes to right here. It's going to come right through my door. And I don't know if you can see right here. And I'll be able to put it in my door and it will only be here uh, out like this when I'm out. So it'll be able to follow along the same line right here where this bracket is. And again, it'll fix nice. I've had it through here in the bottom everywhere. I mean, I've never had any issues with it. So that's that's all it takes. It's just a matter of uh, keeping everything nice and where it belongs. Okay, so this is what plugs in um, to this. So it also plugs in right here on top, for example. So that plugs in there. And then this plugs in right here, which is right in the back 
seat of my truck. Boom, boom, plugs right in. It's got an on and off switch. So that's how I'm gonna work to get better cell service and be able to stay out longer. Hopefully um, get a little more work done when I need to, um, or at least be able to download, stream a little bit, do some things that I need to do that I can't do always now. So I'll be able to up that game. I need to be able to up that game if I wanna stay out longer. Uh, it's more important to me to stay out longer. <laughs> but I need to make the money to stay out longer. So if y'all have any questions or anything, please put them in here. Uh, hey, like and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Um, hope y'all like this video. Um, take care. Bye. So lastly, total time on this was about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I mean, I had to get a couple of things from the store and all that stuff. But actual work time putting the brackets on, making the little uh, holder for the antenna uh, tip. And all that was about a total hour and 15 minutes. And total expense, maybe 12 bucks or something. So anyways, it's better than 150 plus, right?